neighbor. Today, we gotta to do a little math. That's right. I gotta figure out how much water is coming out of a fire pump discharge. So what I gotta is, I got my little hose set up there. I got an inch and a quarter by an inch and a half by one T that I plugged. I got my hose and I got that 50 gallon barrel so let's walk in here into the fire pump room and here's what I'm gonna do to figure out how much water is coming out there is the discharge so when I start this fire pump it's like a big loud engine and water comes circulating through the inch and a quarter line and goes into that drain right there well that drain goes into a septic tank and we're filling up the septic tank with too much water so we got to figure out how much water we've been dumping in there but you can see this is an inch and a quarter line so I got to take this piece of pipe out and uh, put on my inch and a half hose I'll probably turn that 90 this way a little bit to get a good flow out of the hose okay so I don't know if this should be in regular mode or time-lapse mode uh, let's put you in time-lapse and if I find anything in interesting I'll put you back all right I got the old uh, clip in here you know that old clip in oh. yeah so I'm gonna clip in my light my camera right here turn on my light and let's get to work let's see how many gallons or how many seconds do you have a guess on how many seconds it's gonna fill that barrel I say 20 seconds but I could be wrong all right let's find out okay action so I got you clipped into my helmet my hard hat and I do like this camera because I could put you right in my pocket here and hopefully that's good enough for you all right let's go get my adapter and wrenches and get to work yeah what's going on here is they have a septic tank and we are just putting too much water into that septic tank so we're not gonna run a hose into the landscaping now and we're gonna water some trees and bushes instead of putting all that water into a septic tank which is not good yeah they they couldn't figure out how come all their water was going into their septic tank I've already undid this little screw here off of this clamp so now we're gonna and a good way to know if you're taking a pipe apart is always pull towards you that means you're loosening so that's how I remember so when I'm pulling my wrench toward me that means I'm loosening watch this that shouldn't be that tight because it's just a drain oh, there it goes you see that I'm loosening I pull towards me so if you ever wonder which way to loosen pull towards you okay so there's that is loose and we'll keep that and we'll stick that back in at the end of the day okay here's my little adapter I think I'm gonna turn this hopefully this won't be that tight see how I can't get my my backup wrench on it there you go yeah you see all the teeth marks on there this thing's probably really tight I might just go here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go on the fitting I'm gonna turn this fitting instead oh I think I am nope let's see if I can loosen this thing there we go that's what we want we'll just loosen it that's pretty smart right to loosen it okay we're gonna do that right there then we're gonna stick this in there you like that okay if you like it I like it so we'll crank on this a little bit just get this tight we're gonna take all this back out so it doesn't have to be that tight but at the same breath we don't want it leaking in here okay that's pretty tight I like that 
Okay, so now we just hook up our hose. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna tie this hose to this little handrail. But we gotta make sure we remember to start our time watch, our stopwatch. This looks like it'll be plenty of hose. Make sure you got a rubber gasket in there. You don't want a big leak. Not that you would hurt anything in this pump room, but you never know. You never know. Okay. So now we'll tighten this up a little bit. Beautiful. Now we're gonna go outside. Make sure this has no restriction to it. Look at that. All right, well, I've never done this before, so this is just a big experiment to me. So I don't know what's gonna go on, but here's my setup. I got my hose and my barrel. And I'm gonna tie that just like that, look at that. That's a pretty good tie. Now how's that gonna work? Like that. Come on. Yeah, get that down in there. I don't know how much it's gonna be flopping around. Okay, well, let's go start our pump and see what happens. I'm gonna put my phone on a timer and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Let's cut this video. Cut. Okay, before we always run this pump, everybody knows before you run a pump, here's what you do. You check the, wa the water, you check the oil, that oil looks full and clean. So there's plenty of oil in it. We're checking the water, plenty of water in the reserve. We check our heat, our heat exchanger, that, that, that thing is nice and warm. We check our hours. And we want to make sure our hours haven't changed. Has this pump, so it's 30.1 hours. Then we go over there and we check that and make sure it's 30.1. So I've checked, I've already checked my battery fluid. I checked my oil, I checked my water, I checked my heat exchanger. Okay, it's time to run this fire pump for 30 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run this thing for 30 minutes, but I'm gonna start my timer. And we're going to see how long it takes to fill up a 50 gallon drum. Let's go. Testing, testing, testing. Okay, we're going to start this pump real quick just to see what this hose does. I'll turn it off right now. Undo this. This is how you start your pump. You got to relieve the pressure off of the control panel. Here we go. Okay, I started that, and I'm gonna silence that. And it looks like I got water into my hose. So here we go. We're gonna start our time watch. Let's cut this video. Okay, action, here we go. There we are, we're running, you see that? Now we're gonna run this pump for 30 minutes. 
but I want to see how long it takes for that barrel to fill up. So we're going to start my watch as soon as that watch, you see that 15, 14, 13. Okay, in 10 seconds, we're going to start that pump, start this stopwatch, and go look at that thing fill up. 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, to fill up that barrel. seconds to fill up that barrel and now I guess every week I'm gonna be watering these plants so no more water is going into the septic tank you gotta love this camera all right let's put you in time-lapse mode cut
Okay. Our hour is 30.6. We ran it for 30 minutes. Get ready to turn it off. So that number should be 30.6 for the hours, yep. Turn this back on. Acknowledge, silence. Okay, let's put this all back together. Finish our paperwork.